YouTubers, welcome to our channel DSRC Classics. I'm Dennis Chow. Today we are going to start on the project build of what we think is a very special car, the 2017 Tamiya Top Force. And it's this baby right here. Can't wait to get started. Now let's have a look at the kit itself. Of course we have the 2017 version of the top force. The box art remains pretty much the same. Uh, just bear in mind that um, the kit does not come with these brown spike tires. Um, I've heard that they've come with uh, updated square spikes. Uh, we'll look into that shortly. Um, there's some slight information update on the lower corner of the box, but apart from that, it's pretty much the same as the original. Let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, um, with the re-release version, uh, the parts are laid out in three separate sections. Um, the left hand, we have the plastic sprues. And these are the square spike tires that I was talking about just shortly. Okay. And what do we have here? We have the A parts, the C parts. These are generic to the DF01 chassis. And next up we have the J parts. The J parts are actually made specifically for Top Wars and Top Wars Evolution. And what do we have here? We have a B parts tree, parts bro, and generic again. And we have the D parts, um, two pieces. These are actually the top and lower suspension arms. And the the damper parts. Okay. Now uh, the middle. Wow, the legs and body from Tamiya. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the Tamiya legs and body. They're just beautifully made. It's great. Okay, on the right hand side we have the goodie box. Let's have a look at what we have inside. Well, what, what I must say is quite neatly packed, if you know what I mean. Well, first of all, we have the Mabushi 540 motor dangling around in the box. Next, the um, the wheels, the star wheels. Narrow for the front, wide for the back. These are the deep parts back and suspension spring, shock oil. Shock oil is actually set to soft. We have the CVA shock bodies. We're actually not going to use these. Good to have. The e parts bag. Well, it actually comes with the uh, standard drive shaft. Very good. And also come with um, upper and lower deck chassis posts. Nice little machine. We have the spur gear and the drive shaft gear. B parts bag comes with the rear suspension shock tower and the drive shaft for the rears. Um, the rears are not really universal drive shaft. You can always upgrade that. Um, and guys, if you are really serious about building a nice top force, I'll always, always, always recommend a set of. Um, ball bearing kit for this particular model. Front suspension hubs, the 
panza. Pots bag. Uh, this is actually to do with the front and rear uh, votive units. Yeah, it's actually quite, quite heavy. Okay, now the F pots bag. Uh, we have some velcro tapes to um, protect the body. I mean, the inside from dust entering. The, um, inside of the car, uh, we have the wing mount, the, the battery battery brackets. Now the C C parts bag, front suspension shock tower. We have the suspension arm pins. Um, now these are actually the universal drive shaft for the front. Very nicely made. Okay, last but not least, we have um, the fiberglass chassis, upper and lower decks. And what I must say, I was hoping Tamiya will probably package these individually instead, because they are just sliding around in, in, inside the packaging like this. Parts uh, as well as the Tamiya hop up options for the high capacity dampers. Um, some aftermarket parts from Year Racing, especially the um, aluminium motor mount, as well as the aluminium drive shaft. Uh, as well as that, we have the high speed ball bearing set from Year Racing as well. We have these um, Tamiya top fours. Evolution replica uh, carbon fiber shock towers. I think these will be a major improvement over the fiberglass units. Let's see how we go, yeah? We'll be kicking off our project build with step number one, which is building the front and rear bolts. Okay, so let's get started. 